Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to derive the parametric form of equation of circle. Let's suppose we have a circle like this with the center at point C having coordinates h, k and then let's pick a point on the circle, let's say point P whose coordinates are x, y. Next I am going to draw a radius which will be parallel to the x axis and then I am going to draw another radius connecting the center and the point P and finally I am going to drop a perpendicular from P onto the other radius. Let's suppose the perpendicular landed at point Q and let's suppose the angle PCQ is equal to theta radian. So CP will be equal to R which is the radius of this circle. Let's suppose lowercase r is the radius of the circle. Then we can say CP will be equal to R and then what will be CQ? Well CQ will be R cosine of theta because CQ over R will be cosine of theta. So then CQ can be written as R times cosine of theta. And similarly PQ over R will be equal to sine of theta. So we can say PQ will be equal to R times sine of theta. Now let's think about the X coordinate of point P. The X coordinate of point P will be equal to the X coordinate of the center plus CQ that distance. So we can say X is equal to H plus CQ and that can be written as H plus R times cosine of theta because CQ is equal to R times cosine of theta. Next if you think about the Y coordinate of point P that will be equal to the Y coordinate of center plus PQ and that can be written as K plus R times sine of theta because PQ is equal to R times sine of theta. And from here if we summarize it we can say X is equal to H plus R times cosine of theta and Y is equal to K plus R times cosine of theta. And these two are called the parametric form of the equation of circle. So here you can see there are two equations but both equations combined together is called the parametric form of the equation of circle. Next we are going to see how the parametric form going to look like if the center of the circle is located at the origin. Well if the center is located at the origin then the x and y coordinate of the center both will be equal to 0 and then we can say x will be equal to 0 plus r times cosine of theta in place of h I have put 0 and that is equal to just r times cosine of theta and similarly we can say y will also be equal to 0 plus r times sine of theta in place of k I have put 0 and again that is equal to just r times sine of theta and if we summarize it we can say x is equal to r times cosine of theta y is equal to r times sine of theta this set of equations together is called the parametric form of equation of circle in this case the circle's center is located at the origin and next Next I am going to clarify one very important aspect of this parametric form of equation of circle. Here we have to clearly understand what is R and what is theta. Well R is constant for a circle right. No matter where the point P is on the circle R will be constant but theta will change. Depending on where we pick the point P theta will vary right. So in this case the varying parameter is theta and the constant parameter is r. So in the parametric form of equation of circle when theta is variable and r is constant this equation actually represents a circle. Now if you think the other way if r is variable and theta is constant this will actually become the parametric form of equation of straight line. You have to make this point very clear. When r is constant theta is variable it represents a circle but when theta is constant and r is variable then it will represent a straight line. I have already created a separate video on that. I have provided the link in the description. Feel free to watch that video. There I have derived the parametric equation of straight line using the similar concept where r is a variable and theta is a constant. But in this case because we are talking about a circle in this case r is the constant and theta is the variable. So theta is also called the parameter and because in this equations we have a parameter it is called the parametric form of equation. I hope things are clear up to this point. Next we are going to take an example. Let's suppose we have an example like this. It says find the parametric equation and the general equation of the circle having its center at 2,3 and radius equals 5 unit. So we have been provided with the location of the center that means we have been provided with the value of h and k and also we have been provided with the value of r then creating the equation is extremely easy. So we have been provided with r which is 5, h is equal to 2, k is equal to 3 and then we know from the parametric form x is equal to h plus r times cosine of theta and if we plug in the values of h and r we get x is equal to 2 plus 5 times cosine of theta. Similarly y is equal to k plus r times sine of theta 
and if we plug in the values we get y is equal to 3 plus 5 times sine of theta and if we summarize this we get x is equal to 2 plus 5 times cosine of theta and y is equal to 3 plus 5 times sine of theta this is the set of parametric equation of this circle next let's derive the general equation to derive the general equation we can begin with the fundamental equation which is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square and let's just plug in the values and expand them so we get x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 5 square and if we remove the parenthesis and expand the whole square then we get x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 25 and from here if we simplify this we can write it as x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 and that is the general form of the equation of this circle this brings us to the end of this video i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video